welcome to maths is easy hello friends as there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels i am here for the same today in this video i am going to solve chapter surface area and volume class 8 publication house goel brothers question number 3 and so on so if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters like rational number square and square roots cube and cube roots playing with numbers linear equations in one variable percentage and its applications probability quadrilaterals factorization algebraic expressions factorization of algebraic expressions you can go by the playlist of the channel so for watching the playlist you have to subscribe the channel where all the links or all the videos are available so uh, let's not to waste further time start with the question number 3 and so on exercise 16.1 chapter surface area and volume so question number 3 says a swimming pool is 30 meter long 10 meter wide and 2.5 meter deep its walls have been covered with tiles of size 20 cm into 10 cm find the number of tiles to be used on its four floor and four walls so what is given to us length is 30 meter breadth is 10 meter and of course height we can say is deep means height 2.5 meter so first of all we will make out the area of walls and floor as there is no roof is there so uh, we will not include the roof we will include the four walls of the swimming pool and floor so for this we will use two l plus b height plus l into b so 2 30 plus 10 2.5 plus 3 into 10 we have put all the dimensions according to the formula so 200 plus 300 would be equal to 500 meter square or square meter we can say now we will find out the area of one tile so area of one tile would be equal to 20 cm into 10 cm but we have to change this unit so it would become 0.2 meter into 0.1 meter so it will be equal to 0.02 meter square now we will find out number of tiles required so for finding out the number of tiles required we will divide total area by what area of one tile so total area is 500 and area of one tile would be equal to 0.02 here so to so answer 5 10 Zeros, so it would be equal to twenty-five thousand tiles. Hope the whole question is clear. This is our answer. Have a full glance of question number three of exercise sixteen point one, chapter surface area and volume. now come to the question number 4 so question number 4 says the sides of a cuboid are in the ratio 6 is to 4 is to 3 surface area of its faces is 432 square meter find its sides so first of all as the ratio is given to us so we will put 
or we will let the length as because ratio is 6 is to 4 is to 3. So it will become our length, breadth and height. So length would be equal to 6x, breadth would be equal to 4x and height would be equal to 3x. Now we have to find out the total surface area of cuboid. So that would be equal to what? We will put the formula 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. So according to the formula, 6x into 4x plus 4x into 3x plus 3x into 6x is equal to 432 which is given to us. So here we will multiply it would be equal to what? This for the 24x square plus 12x square plus 18x square would be equal to 432. In our next step, it uh, if we add all these, it would be coming out as 2 into 54x square equal to 432. So 54 into 2 would be equal to 108x square equal to 432. So x square would be 432 divided by 108, which would be equal to, of course, 4. So x would be equal to under root 4 mean 2. So let's find out the dimensions then. So dimensions x is equal to 2 now. So with the help of this x, we will find out our dimension. So L would was 6. X means 6 into 2 means 12. Breadth was 4x. 4 into 2, 8. And height was what? 3x. So 3 into 2, 6. Hope all the questions so far are clear we have a full glance of question number 4 of exercise 16.1 chapter surface area and volume and not to forget put the unit meter meter and meter have a full glance Now come to the question number 5. So question number 5 says A cardboard of size 16 cm to 24 cm has been completely used to form a cube. What will be the size of cube so formed? So first of all, we will find out the surface area of cardboard. So it would be equal to 16 into 24 means 384 centimeters. So we have to make the cube. So surface area would be intact. There would be no change in surface area. And the area of cube is equal to 6a square. So 6a square would be equal to 384 because surface area would become the would be same. So a square equal to 384 by 6. 6 is the 36, 6 for the 24. So a is equal to under root 64. So 
a equal to eight. So our a would be area of sheet. So area is three hundred eighty four centimeters square and how many cubes so formed? Eight cubes so far. I hope the question is clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask by commenting into the comment box. Have a full glance of question number five. So size of the cube so form would be eight centimeter. Now come to the sixth question. So sixth question says, An Elmira, 1.2 meter into 40 centimeter to 2 meter is made of iron sheet. Find the area of sheet used in it. So what we have to find, we have to find the area in particular. So our first step would be Length equal to 1.2 meter is given to us. So that would be equal to 120 centimeter. That is given as 40 centimeter. So that would be equal to 40 centimeter only because there would be no change. Height would be equal to what? 2 meter. So that would be equal to 200 centimeter. Now total surface area. 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. So 2 into 120 into 40 plus 40 into 200 plus 200 into 120. 4,800 plus 8,000 plus 24,000. 2 into 36,800. So that would be equal to what? 73,600 centimeter square. So if we convert into the meter, it would be equal to 73,600 divided by 100. And into 100 because Square is there. So that will be cancelled with this to 7.36 meter square will be our answer. Hope the question is clear. Question number six is clear. You have a full glance of question number six. Chapter surface area and volume exercise 16.1. Now come to the seventh question, which is the last question of this video. So, seventh question says,
a cupboard has eight cubical compartment edge of each compartment is 50 cm find their interior surface area and cost of painting the interior at rupees 20 per square meter so edge of each compartment what 50 cm now area of each compartment Fifty into fifty. That would be equal to twenty-five hundred. so as the compartment is in the form of cube so it will multiply by 6 6 a square because the formula is 6 a square so it will get multiplied by 6 now it will be coming out as 15000 cm square so that will be equal to 1.5 meter square now total Interior surface area would be equal to eight because eight compartments are there, so one point five. So it will would be equal to twelve meter square. So cost of painting is rupees twenty per meter square. So it will multiply by twenty. So it will would be equal to two forty. Hope all the questions are clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask by commenting into the comment box. So as unit as this is twenty, so unit will be two hundred. So hope. Uh, Surface area would be twelve, and cost of painting rupees two fifty. So, hope all the questions from question number three to question number seven of exercise sixteen point one, surface area and volume, publication of Goel Brothers class eight, are clear. In my next video, I'll be covering rest of the questions of exercise sixteen point one. So, if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.